and gentlemen, come online, come online, come online. As may your supreme master chief leader of the kingdom of Mokum, this ministry, I greet you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I greet you in the name of Mokum, this Jehovah. I greet you in the name of peace. Today I have a great message for you. I will be teaching you that will never, will never, nobody have taught you before. And everything is in the Holy Scriptures, more convinced. That's why I told you there's no narrative will never be in cover in this holy book because it came from above to more convince himself. So I'm the Supreme Master Chief, leave, leave, uh, a Supreme, I am a first Supreme Master Chief leader of the Kingdom of Mokovos Ministry. I greet you in the name of uh, our Lord more convinced and his son Jesus Christ. Today is great message, 1st September, Wednesday, 2021. 1st September the 1st, 2021. Otherwise, 1st September, 2021, and today is a Wednesday, 3 o'clock. Subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to send it a message to your brothers and sisters. I will not take a time because I am something very important I came to talk, teach you today. I've been ignoring many things for a long time ago, but why I kept myself a little bit quiet and waiting for the day. Well, Mokom has told me that the time has come for me to come and share you this message. This message is a crucial message. Came from straight away. To our brothers and sisters in the land of Western Africa. That's I'm going to address today. I kept myself very quiet because everything is being written in the Holy Scriptures more of this. And today I am here to reveal you the truth that no one ever taught you. No, even the child of devils, those ones who love the money. Those ones who like to steal people in their temples, mosques, or churches. That's why I am wearing here in the army cross to tell you that God himself has many armies in heaven. Please be, be aware that the kingdom is a peaceful and non-violent organization. A non-violence religion. But don't try us. This always I say. And don't push us because we will not accept any abuse and any bullying. We are here to do the work of God and protect his properties and protect his people. The first army started in heaven. And we kick them, those ones who didn't want, because they have something very wrong on their heart. And that's why I am here to address you in the peace of the Lord Mokonvis. Today I'll be preaching you time of migrant of West Africa, chapter 1, verse 1, and uh, I will go straight away to verse, right, 1 to 5. Then I'll be jumping to 10 and 20. So I can mix up the food because this Holy Scriptures is very big. You know, ladies and gentlemen, a message is very big. So I have to, to tip you, teach you step by step and other unwanted thing, uh, teachings is only for the, the, the evangelists and the other members of this ministry to teach you. I'm going to read you verse 1. In the year of 2010, there was a mass migration to Libya during the, an uprising in sub saharan Africa. Those migrants, those that migrant, sought out a better life for themselves and their families. Unfortunately, this did not turn out to be the case. Verse 2. There was a young man in Tunisia named Tareka Altekei Alteyebe Mohamed Bouwazi, who was born on the 29th of March 1984. On the 17th December 2010, the young Tunisian street vendor self-immolated in response to confiscation of his of his 
words and harassment and humiliation inflicted on him by municipal officials and aiders. This act, this act became a catalyst for the Tunisian revolutions and wide Arab Spring against the autocratic regimes. Three, when the regime or oh, corrupt government stay in power for a very long time, it become an evil dictatorship. They will do anything to maintain their powers. Hmm. And therefore, the innocent people like Tarek Alte Yebe, Mohammed Bouhosi, peace be with, within in heaven, and forced to take dr 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 drastic action to put the end the statue of, of chaos. Hmm. Four and, and five. This drastic action, although deeply shock, shocking, are often uh, catalysts that provided enough confidence and solidarity to an oppressor people. Hmm that is fueled and revolt against the government. Five, the dictatorship embellishes public funds, robbing poor, robbing of the poor masses, so that handful of evil people, again, if they rape their own people, tend to more convinced for a brave souls like a I will stop here because this is, is not the teaching today. But what I'm teaching you about the black Africans, what brought them into the suffering. Then I'll, I'll cook it for you so you understand how the first Supreme Master Chief Leader, where I'm going through. Because if I teach you full the chapters, it's too long. You we will stay here even full day and the next day. So therefore, step by step will make you understanding. Everything. I will call you in prayer. Beloved for Confessor, thank you very much today, the first September, Wednesday, three o'clock. I'm preaching all the members around of the world. Bless them and let them put their eyes and ears to listen what I am going to teach them. And God be with you. Ladies and gentlemen, amen. Please follow on the image I'm putting there how the brothers and sisters in West Africa they're coming in Europe to suffer. What triggered them to suffer? Mm, Lord, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Now, because the Libya is African land. Libya, at the beginning, was a black Africans, dark skin. And that's all the scripture is saying, what Mokomvis knows before 2000 or 3000 years ago. No one know it except Mokomvis. And he brought it to the first Supreme Master Chief Leader to teach you the truth. I told you lost long time ago that Adam and Eve was a black people. All most of the prophets of Jewish, they are blacks, dark skin like you and I. But the Middle East people, Middle East at the time of first century, it was a black people in that country. Then those ones who came from the other side of the snow country, they mix up, having babies, and the evil came and mix. That's why you see what you are seeing there today in Libya, who are not originally the land of blacks. Libya originated black, dark skin. It was robbed by Arabs, robbing our lands, and take over because of the, the uh, crocodile uh, movement they brought to teach you. So I'm teaching you in parables. You know what I'm saying about. For those who are wiser, will put their ears and they understand what I'm saying. The crocodile religion. So, because of the dictatorship in, in black country in Tunisia, Tunisia is only African country also. 
African dictatorship. Puppets has been put in power there, taking the land for more than 30 years in power, controlling everything. A young man called, mm, God, be with us. Derek El Teyebe Moade Bozizi took action because of a militia, a, a, a militia of what they brought to him to humiliate him in front of everyone. He was a street vendor, fruits, and many other things to try to, to raise up money to, to help his brothers and sisters to go to school and to help his mama and family. A young man who was very brave because there's no job. The autocratic government, uh, does they've been ruled in decree, they took everything and not providing nothing to the poor people. So the young man was being out telling him to leave the place where he was selling, and the police officer and the army, or don't know the police officers, they destroy everything he has. I'll put the image there so you can see what happened in those days. Scattered all his tomatoes and all fruits he was selling. That's humiliation. For him, what he knew is only that he can survive. So the young man put fuel in his own body and burned himself. He died. Therefore, the, the people from that day, they rise up. That's what we call the White Arab Spring. Mm, the revolution, the Tunisian revolution. And all these countries, the Arabs in Africa, they stand up against the autocratic regimes. But in Libya was different things. Mohammed, Mohammed Gaddafi was an African president who ruled his own country by decree, but some he has created many enemies in the West for many years ago. I'll be going very fast because this preaching may take me longer because I got something to show you. The disaster was created, started from where I am, and this, the, the, some bandits went there and, and tried to overthrow him. They end up catching him and killing him. I'm not going so far. Some days I will teach you much more about it. The black people, that skin was being protected in that country very good by Muhammad Gaddafi. But because they have a plan to finish that race, the crocodile religion was there waiting for the black people to go there. And because of the regime of many African countries, the presidents don't like to share what they earn from the, the country with the poor people who build up the school who do things were better, they decided to go to Libya. And Libya was a war against other terrorists and other terrorists. And end up catching many black people, cutting them their head, chopping them and stealing them the organs to be sold in the black market. Many black people was being sold into slavery. Them black, these black migrants, they decided also to get the boats to come in Italy, Europe, wherever place where they can find. They believe that there's a heaven. Ladies and gentlemen, this is I'm coming through. Let me read you on the 20, on 10, then I will, I will go further. At the time, a black African became in danger, Libya became a country of evil divided into three parts, but the Africans were killed by the people following crocodile religion. The supposed men of God were nothing more than evil terrorists. Their subjected objective was eliminated, eliminate the black original Africans on large scale by beheading or severing body parts. Most West African travel for a better life but the time they did not know that they risk being, being killed in the desert. The terrorists claim to be an Islamic militants, but Mokumbis doesn't not recognize them as a man of God. 
Anyone who murder innocent people is okay to do so under the terms of the religion for them. Is no man of God, man of God, is not a man of God. They are psychopathic, psychopathic, yeah. Such mental is of satanic crocodile religions. Lucifer's religious. People should not take a part in such evil religion. Because I'm saying, Allah will not take this terrorist to heaven. This action of murdering are against both humanity and Allah. They kidnap Africans, ask their family to pay for the freedom. They send videos to, to the media of torturing, sometimes even beheading their captives. All those forces are captive to quickly pay the ransoms. Hmm. How can this be on behalf of Allah, my friends? These evil people are criminals and deserve to be arrested and punished in according with the law of the land. The crocodile religion is for a devil groups, have no regard for human life. They imprison women and rape them in front of their parents. They also rape and kill the children. Libyans started illicit business of to sacrifice the original, the original men, the black people of Africa, in the sea with small plastic boats. They aim was to let go and die on the sea. Many die on the sea. But their dreams of eliminating the original African failed. The African are truly children of Mokomvis, the creator of the world. Mokomvis sent the angel on the sea to fix the boats, and as a result, many survive. Even so, the situation was awful, bad for innocent Africans. 20. The Libyan terrorists of the of the fanatic crocodile religion started selling African like a cattle or sheep. This time, Mokomvis warns African to create jobs for their citizens and to be united to stop evil, evil human from sacrificing their lives in the country of satanic crocodile groups. There are identity of religions of Lucifer. They brainwash the vulnerable by translating their, their books into misleading way. They tell the, that they must fight, that when they die, they will go to heaven. I will tell you the truth for, for what you have committed. You will go straight away to hell as a supreme master chief leader. That's what I have to explain to you. Beheading innocent people and committing suicide by exploiting yourself, excluding yourself. And it is process killing countless innocent men, women, children are abhorrent and godly act. Those that are members of the secret society groups or following of Lucifer religion. Please come to the kingdomism on Wednesday, like today I'm preaching you, and we will we will burn the books of the devils together so that your soul it is set free. Ladies and gentlemen, have you heard what they say? Imagine African went to Libya and the other people who are crocodile religion beheading their heads, simply they are entering the Libyans. How many African country the, the Arabs they go and stay? All of Africans' country, their Arabs are dead and not being tortured. So why the dark skin, when they go to Libya, have been killed by, by the so-called uh, terrorists and believing in the crocodile religion? Ladies and gentlemen, on the 21st century, it's a crime of humanity what Libyans has committed. Even though go far away, a people on the sea, by taking a, a knife, 
long knife. Children are there. Women are there. Males are young males. I don't know how to swim. Trying to burst their own boat, their own uh, plastic or uh, label boat, so they can fall on the sea. Thousand, thousand died, causing by Libyans and uh, of complex of some Italians mafians. Ladies and gentlemen, this is I'm telling you my divisor to West African governments to build up the jobs and help the African not traveling to Libya for Europe. Ladies and gentlemen, Europe, you're coming. There's no good life the way you're thinking. In fact, Africa, if you stay where you are, make your small business, you will help yourself much better than coming to Italy. I will show you the image in Italy so you can see yourself below. How the Italians, the black people in Italy, the way they're suffering. In France, they're sleeping outside. Women are committing prostitution. Males are, are being going in drugs. There's no life here where you're coming to Italy. Stay where you are, ladies and gentlemen. The kingdomism is committed to support you and tell you the truth. And the years to come, we will be supporting a charity commission, charity, charity for uh, those ones who are suffering in Europe, women, children, and orphans. But God be with you. Please see yourself the image below if you come, and your life will need the same, will be not, not to be the same again. Tell your brothers and sisters this message. Teach them that the, the first supreme master chief lead is very sad and pain on his heart. Many countries, they didn't act what was going to Libya to the arms of black, dark Africans, West Africans. And this is sad. Governments, presidents, leaders of Africans, do your best to support your people in your country and stop migrating to Europe the way they are doing. There's nothing here, brothers and sisters. God be with you. I know many of you will say, Supreme Master Chief Leader, if there's nothing there, my friend, next time I will teach you this because my teaching has finished here and God be with you. Thank you very much. Our, not, our message is following the us on Sunday as well, 3 o'clock and visit on our website www.kingdomista.com.uk uh, sorry, kingdomista.com and visit our YouTube Get our, our free books here. Get uh, Buy one of the books. French and English book are the Holy Scripts of More Convinced has already been completed. And God be with you, whatever place where you are. And goodbye.